Howdy folks, Nathan Trevor, American Collector, and Nickel Roll Hunter. And welcome to Nickel Roll Hunting 4 of Season 9. And it's Nate and Matt. And here are the ones I need for my big book, 39D and 50D. I ended up putting the 45D that I think I found into my big book. So I still need the 45D in some capacity. So, let's go. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> These don't look so good, but they do look circulated, so let's split them up. And I think these look terrible, but first roll, first find, it's a 1954. Denver. Okay, folks, it's my fifth roll, and I just got a 1939, so if it's a P, that's pretty common. But if it's a D or an S, we got a great coin. And yeah, that's a three for sure. All right, here we go. Be a mint mark. It's the P. And my brother just found this. And it looks like 1902. V nickel, awesome find, great. I stopped opening, but Matt's full steam ahead, so. So these are his other finds, 1947, 1948, and 1959. And I think these two are P's and probably a D. And that's correct, two P's and a D. And it's a penny in my eighth roll, and it looks zinking. 2000 D. And Matt got another cool one, a foreign 1987 Canada. All right, my fifth to last roll, and I just got a 1941. Mint mark. 1941S. Okay, folks, and we just finished, and we're gonna do the giveaway first, and it's this awesome 1924 Silver Bolivar Libertador. And I just looked up the value, and nice ones go for like 15 or $20, so this must be worth four or five bucks at least. But um, it's going to one of you. All right, let me uh, pick, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, and the winner of the Bolivar coin is Lauren O'Reilly. Nice work, Lauren. You'll be getting that coin. And my finds were a 1939 Philly, 1941S, the penny, minus four cents, and then all these 50s, and my fun shaved down one. I didn't film it while I was going, but it's awesome. And a shiny one, which I like, because it's got some weird edges. I don't know, you can't really see. <laughs> it's super dumb, totally dumb. All right, Matt got the usual 59, 58, 57. 4847 P and uh, 187 Canada. And that's our only foreign that we got. And the star of the show, 1902 V nickel. It's 121 years old. Nice find, Matt. Howdy folks, Nathan Trevor, American collector and coin roll hunter here with a nickel roll hunt. And it's my fifth nickel roll hunt of season nine and my brother Matthew and I just finished our fourth hunt and it was awesome. Matt found a 1902 V nickel. All right, wife is cooking and Matt is opening and it's a noisy one, everybody. Oh yeah, pull one out, Matt. Let's show it to the camera. Ooh, circulated, super happy, Matt. All right, let's pull them out. Yeah. And Matt and I are both checking with our magnets. And so far, nothing. No. Uh-oh, Matt, you snuck another roll. Okay, you guys, it's my first find, and it's an awesome shaved down one. And I got one of these dumb ones in the last hunt, too. And the obverse side, not as much, but, but it's a keeper. Gold shaved down one. And in Matt's first roll, he got a 1941. So I would argue my first find is better than his. Oh... All right, not to be outdone, I got a 40 in my first roll. 
So Matt got a 41 and I got a 40. And Philadelphia. Oh, Canada. 1987. And last box, Matt found an 87. And now it's mine. And I got another 1940p. 173 million minted. Not special, but it's a find. And Matt found a 1952. Pretty beat up. And it's Philly. And smiley face. Special find for me. 1980D. All right, my fourth or fifth find is a 1946. And Matthew's got four or five. And it's Philly. Next find, Matthew found a 1941. Ooh, San Francisco. That's the best 41 there is. And my next roll, I found a 1941. In the same role as my 41 is a 53 P and Ring of Death. And Matt found a 1946 P. Matt got a 1948 Denver. Okay, Matt's still searching. He's got two and a half rolls to go. And I'm going to do the giveaway right now. It's this Mercury Dime. And I don't know if it's awesome or not. It used to be a pendant or something, so kind of cool in a way. Got some extra metal on there. Might be silver. <laughs> anyway, let's pick. And Matt pulled a 1940p out of his last roll. And the giveaway winner is Kimberly Creamer, the Sunshine State Detectorist. All right, folks, and Matt's done, so here's the wrap. Not a very great hunt. Uh, the real winner is Kimberly, and, you know, some fun ones as normal, some 50s. You know, a lot of 40s and 41s in this box, 40, 41P, 41S, and no real special finds, but in the last box, we did pretty good, so we'll find some more in the future. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye. Howdy, folks. Nathan Trevor. <laughs> the best intro ever. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye.